I apologise again for my voice. It's, I've still got a cold that I'm trying to get over. The question came up on the forums about uh, how motion channels work. And so I'll just create a little procedural cube and move it around just to show you uh, how, thing, how motion channels work in Messiah. So you'll note that we are in Setup tab, but I'm still able to move the object. And even if I'm at a different keyframe, I'm not creating new keyframes. All I'm doing is moving around the base position of the object. And you know that the base position is definable, like say I, I have moved this in, the, in Animate, I can go back to my base position by clicking here on reset all. So it's back to the where it is in the setup tab. So it just the just to note when you've got this big red border around here, you're not in animate mode. You can't animate anything. This is just where you're rigging and setting things up. And so anything you do won't show up in your motion curves. But when you're in animate mode, obviously that's different. And we can animate away. And you do that just by scrubbing to where you want and moving the object and it automatically creates keyframes by default so here I have created an animation and because I am in all channels here's where you ch check between independent and all um, I have made keyframes on all of the channels that are available for this cube so X position, you can see all the keyframes. Um, heading, you can see all, they've all got solid keyframes and even scale. And this is usually the way that most people work is they want to create a keyframe everywhere when they make a new keyframe. Now there are circumstances where you want to have that work a little differently. And so let me clear all those out. And let's just say you want to have it move up and down, but you also want it to spin independently. So we'll just go to independent channel and we'll move it up and down. Moving it up and down. There we go, that should be enough. But now because we're in independent, if I go to the heading channel you can see that there are not keyframes. It's not a solid line anymore. And there are these little pluses to indicate that there are keyframes made in another channel on the channel block. This is the channel block, but not on um, not on the current selected channel. And so now, we on frame 50, we can rotate this, and you can see that it is independently moving independent of all the other channels. And so when we scrub you can see that it's moving up and down but then independently on heading it's got a keyframe. So that's how that works. So this is particularly important when you're dealing with multiple objects and you want to copy keyframes to and from them. So um, say we want to copy just the uh, the Y and not the heading of this one. So we make sure that we're still in independent channel mode and we copy all the keyframes, select all the keyframes for Y and then click copy and then in our other cube make sure that we're on Y and click paste and you'll note that we have copied the Y channel but not the heading channel now if we were to let's just delete all those do, 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 do. now we select this one and we switch over to uh, all channels and now we select all the channels and we pick copy and now we click paste you'll note that all the channels are now on the second object and so much so that they has now overlapped and so we'll just move that over and so that you can see um, that all the channels have been copied 
but you'll note that it looks a little different and that's because it's not quite intelligent when you've done all it makes keyframes for all of them so here on heading it's made keyframes there that it doesn't have on this one because when these keyframes were made it was in it was in the independent channel mode whereas here when these keyframes were made it was in the all mode and so what you have to do is switch back to independent and then delete these keyframes and you can see that there are notches still showing that on the Y position there are still keyframes available but on heading there are not and so now we've matched well in theory we've matched it I don't know where I deleted one of those keyframes looks like I've deleted that one so let's copy that and create and then paste and there we have they should match up so that's how that works copying bits from one to the other um, since we have these two up we just make sure that they're um, let's close these and make sure that they're both selected and if you want to move them um, you have them both selected and you want to move one you turn this little guy off, this little E off and now when you move one the other one will not move but when you turn them both on they both move so that's what that little E is good for that's the modify multiple selected objects option um, the motion tracks that you see here you can see that we have heading pitch and bank XYZ and that's because um, we have those options uh, lit up here. But let's just say we don't ever want to deal with rotation. What you can do is just right click on here on these little colored circles and you can see that in the edit sphere you don't have those options anymore. You can't uh, rotate that object anymore. But you can see that there is still a keyframe it's still available um, there is still a key there and to make it so that it's not a key there anymore you actually uh, middle click and so that wipes out all the keys and so there's nothing you can do uh, once it's in this kind of square brackety mode uh, there's nothing you can do to rotation uh, anymore uh, it still shows a notch that there is a keyframe but uh, it's it's like it's turned off and so anything I do with rotation anywhere uh, let's just right click here to, to get the, the thing back on anything I do will stay globally throughout the animation I'm not animating anymore so that's that mode is really good for when you want to like say you're setting up lights um, you want to to not create keyframes you don't want to be creating keyframes but you want to have the option of of globally throughout the entire animation change the position of a light so that's what that does um, so we'll just turn that back to the way it was there and turn those back on and so that's that's the way it looks by default so hopefully uh, I haven't confused you too much but uh, this is something that did confuse me initially when I moved to Messiah from other packages particularly the hiding and unhiding and uh, the relationship between what's keyable and what's in this other mode that is um, uh, static or dynamic uh, channel animation uh, so so that's what that toggle is is this is this is dy this is dynamic it's keyable but um, this is static and so anything you do uh, is is globally set you, it's not animatable anymore on that particular channel so hopefully that's uh, helped you guys out a little bit and uh, if you have any more questions please let me know I have uh, one more thing to add to that to what I've been m talking about um, all the independent and all channels also works for when you're moving keyframes. So here I'm going to move this last keyframe from 50 to 60. 
and as you can see all the channels moved along with it um, and I can just put it back so if I switch to independent and I move the channel you can see that it left a notch there and if I go back to heading you can see that I did not and not end up moving the heading so depending on whether you're on independent or all uh, it, w it affects how you can move um, move keyframes around so I can put that back and it'll actually merge in with the heading one as well and this works w with the motion graph and also with the dope editor as well